Welcome to another Python programming tutorial. In this lesson, we'll be exploring one of the fundamental data structures in Python, lists. Lists are versatile and widely used for managing collections of elements. Let's dive into the basics and explore some practical examples. In Python, a list is an ordered, mutable collection of elements. Elements can be of any data type, and they are indexed starting from zero. Lists are created using square brackets. Now, let's see how we can create and modify lists in Python. First let's create a Python code file under the open folder, list underscore demo dot py. Creating a list of numbers. Containing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Creating a list of strings. Containing apple, banana, and orange. Creating a mixed type list. Containing 1, hello, 3.14. True. We can add print statements to print out the lists to see what they look like. Print numbers. Print fruits. Print mixed list. Let's open terminal to run the code. Type Python and file name in terminal and hit enter. The lists are printed as defined in the code. Now, let's see how we can modify a list. Appending an element to the end of the list, append grape to fruits. Inserting an element at a specific index. At index 1, insert kiwi. Removing an element by value. From fruits remove banana. Modifying an element by index. The element at index 2 in numbers changed to 99. In the mixed underscore list, change the first element, at index 0, to 2. Add print statements. This line will print a note telling you the lists below are modified lists. Adding the backslash n in the print statement means printing a blank line. Copy previous print statements and paste here. Run the code again to see the changes. 99 at index 2 in numbers. Kiwi inserted at index 1 and grape is appended to the end of fruits. 2 replaced 1 at index 0 in mixed underscore list. Now that we know how to create and modify lists, let's explore some practical use cases. Use case 1, managing a to-do list. Consider a scenario where you want to manage a to-do list. In this to-do list code, line number 2 creating a to-do list, line number 3 adding a new task, line number 4 removing a completed task, Line number 5 using for loop to print every task in the updated to-do list. Please note that Python uses indentation to indicate a block of code. The number of spaces before lines in a block of code is up to you. The most common use is 4, but it has to be at least 1. Have to use the same number of spaces in the same block of code. Let's run the code. Great. Now, let's move on to another use case. Use case 2, storing user information. Imagine you want to store information about a user. You can do this. Line number 2 save the user information in a list, name, age, email, is the user active or not. You may want to modify the user's age like in line number 3. Then displaying user information. Let's run the code. Fantastic! Let's explore one more use case. Use case 3, tracking sales data. 
Suppose you want to track monthly sales data and check if sales exceeded a target. Monthly sale numbers are stored in a list. Line number 3 Calculating total sales. Line number 4 Set target sales equals 30,000. Line number 5 to 8 Using if block. If total sales is greater than target sales. Print sales exceeded the target. Otherwise. Print sales below the target. Let's run the code. That's all for our tutorial on lists in Python. Lists are powerful tools for managing collections of data, and now you have the knowledge to create, modify, and use them effectively in your Python projects. Thank you for watching, and happy coding!